She may still be. I, I think I, I, in order that we maximize the time we have available, I think we ought to get, uh, get going. This is the public comment session. Um, you know, the, the, a couple of process issues. First of all, to remind folks that uh, the Commission staff published an invitation uh, prior to this uh, meeting in the Federal Register inviting comment. I understand there was something on the order of 300 people who uh, wish, to, uh, wish to offer comment. Uh, we'll obviously not get 300 in in the next uh, 45 minutes, but the, the plan is to ask, uh, uh, in, f in fact, I think uh, responders or rather public uh, commenters have been notified, and the plan is that uh, Mr. Juan Chuck back here will be, uh, has the list of folks that will be um, offering comment, and uh, maybe the thing to do is to just uh, dive into that. I want to remind you before we do that the Commission, of course, is charged by, uh, uh, charged by President Obama to be looking at uh, uh, bioethical issues generated by novel and emerging research in biomedicine and related areas of science and technology uh, and to promote policies and practices that assure ethical responsibility and remind you that the specific charge uh, on this meeting has been around uh, looking at on the topic of uh, federal standards regarding human, human subjects uh, research. So with that background, uh, and the amount of, yeah, each person I believe has a minute and a half is, is the way we've been able to try to cram in as many, as, as many comments as possible. So uh, Juan, if you're ready for the first. Uh, Ms. Cassandra Lewis. Hi, Ms. Lewis. Okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Cassandra Lewis, and I'm a targeted individual from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, my story um, may sound disjointed. I'm trying to keep it within the minute and a half. I worked as a legal secretary at Hogan and Hartson in Washington, D.C. It is now called Hogan Lovells. Attorney Jan McDavid made a client mistake that she tried to blame on me. I then refused to work for Ms. McDavid. Shortly thereafter, strange and inexplicable events occurred on my job and after being fired, followed me to my home and to all my travels. Attorney Christopher J. Hagan, formerly of Hogan and Hartson. Mr. Samuel Conrad, he's a retired security administrator of Hogan and Hartson. And Robert Johnston, who is the current firm administration, administrator of Hogan and Lovells, are responsible for my targeting. I believe to protect Ms. McDavid's reputation, a phone call was made to whom and, and why they did this to me. I, 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 I truly just speculate. Gang stalking and harassment was used to implement this non-consensual biotechnology application that is being used on me. I now experience involuntary limb movements. I receive stingings. I get pains to my head, to my abdomen, to my vaginal area, and to my anal area. I am receiving from a language that I read concerning this technology, it is called Medusa, developed by the Navy, is being used on me. I get burning on my lower legs and my ankles. I get ringing in my ears that's uh, pitched. It's like they, they, they pitch it. I get pulsing sensations in my body. I get an electrical current, an electrical sensation that goes up and down through my body and can be uh, isolated to different parts of my body. I get severe tingling on the soles of my feet. I'm almost done. Um, it's almost like being electrocuted, and the first time I experienced this was walking into a bank. Um, I get buzzing sensations on the soles of my feet and individual toes. I also get facial manipulations, just to name a few of the things that happen to me. I feel as though I am being roboticized. Um, these are very strange occurrences, and I would like for all the targeted individuals in this room to stand up and to show yourself. Um, my story is similar to a lot of these people. Mr. Eric Suba. Yes, 
Thank you. I'm, I'm a physician, and uh, cervical cancer prevention in developing countries is my life's work. I previously outlined um, my concerns in written form to Valerie Bonham and to Adam Michaels. Um, my concerns are regarding ongoing studies of cervical cancer prevention currently being conducted in India. These studies include uh, scientifically gratuitous control groups of unscreened women, um, and it includes scientifically gratuitous measurements of cervical cancer death rates among over 100,000 Indian women who are not being provided with any cervical cancer prevention services at all. Uh, the studies have been funded continuously since 1997 by the NCI and by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I'd like to offer a testable hypothesis that if these studies had been reviewed by any one of this afternoon's panelists, uh, they'd be found, without exception, to be unethical by each of the panelists. I'd also like to offer the testable hypothesis to the Commission that these ongoing Indian studies could serve as a valuable prism through which to identify improvement opportunities for human subjects protections. And uh, finally, I'd like to offer uh, my own technical co consultative services to the, to the Commission, uh, as well as those of my colleagues in Vietnam and other developing countries, if the Commission should find a more grassroots perspective to be valuable. Thank you. Mr. Thomas McClelland. I'm 59 years old from New York uh, City. Um, I've been a vic victim of ongoing non-consensual human subject experimentation for my entire adult life and possibly may have been a victim since my childhood. I have been targeted with ongoing microwave weapons as well as drugging with neurotoxic contaminants covertly placed on articles of clothing as well as on other personal possessions. I believe my being a non-consensual human test subject is related to the CIA's MKUltra behavior modification program that began in the 1950s. Moreover, after I read a July 1963 CIA MK Altry report that became unclassified in 1994 and emphasized that it would be necessary to test unwitting citizens in their ordinary day to day you, you can, you activities can without their knowledge in the final stage of the testing program. I believe that I could be one of those many thousands of civilians that were unwittingly tested in the CIA's behavior modification program. <laughs> Getting the government to take action concerning acknowledgement and putting an end to unethical consensual human experimentation that has also been a part of our country's past history is of great concern to me. I believe that there could have been other members of my family that were victims also. And Thank you for your courage. Mr. Brian Rung. Miss Anya Briggs? <clears throat> My name is Anya Briggs, and I am a private citizen and resident of New York City. I have been and continue to be experimented on against my will and without my permission as a human test subject and as a targeted individual forced into trauma-based mind control programs. Because of this ongoing experimentation, torture, and abuse, since 2008 and before, I have endured the following physical and psychological symptoms. Extreme, debilitating, and chronic fatigue, weakness, and dizziness for days and weeks at a time. Lack of motor control, as well as the sensation of being physically controlled by an unseen force. My left arm occasionally experiences pain and discomfort from an object of unknown origin moving under my skin and being activated somehow. 
I have an unusual dental filling of unknown origin on the side of one of my back upper right teeth and no memory of having this procedure done. And I have x-ray printouts and a signed affidavit from my dentist stating this. Hmm. Said dental filling causes me sharp pain, discomfort, and sensitivity. I have experienced extreme itching, burning, and pain in my right leg that turned into an intense bright pink and then disappeared completely after several minutes, and I have photographs of this happening in real time. I have had a stretched uterus, and yet I have never consciously and to my knowledge been pregnant.